Today our learning intention is solving equations using the we function. Our national five essential skills are again solving trig equations and drawing trig graphs. The method of writing two trig terms as one can be used to help solve equations involving both a sine and cos term. The first step is to prepare and ensure we write it in wave function form and for ease always use k cos of x minus a expansion. Example 1. Solve 5 cos x plus sin x equal to 2 where x lies between 0 and 360 degrees. So here we need to put 5 cos x plus sin x into wave function form before we then equate it to the number 2 to solve. So starting with our expansion, k cos x cos a plus k sin x sin a. Again, rearrange this before making sure we equate our coefficients. So k cos a lies in front of cos x, which will be 5, and k sin a lies in front of sin x, which will be 1. After we've clearly stated this, we need to draw our cast diagram. Cos a is equal to positive 5, so tick a and c. Sin a is equal to positive 1, so tick s and a. So we're looking for an angle in the first quadrant. Writing out our rule, tan A equals k sin A over k cos A. So tan A equals 1 over 5. If we do inverse tan of a fifth, we'll get an answer of angle A as 11.3 degrees. Now we've got angle A. We then need to find the value for k. So k is equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 1 squared which will give us root 26. So basically 5 cos x plus sin x equals root 26 cos of x minus 11.3 degrees. Now we were basically asked to solve a trig equation. So we need to put root 26 cos of x minus 11.3 degrees equal to the number 2. And in order to solve this, I need to move my root 26 over and divide. So cos of x minus 11.3 degrees is equal to 2 over root 26. Now to solve for x, again, I need to draw a cast diagram to see where I'm looking for angles. So cos is equal to positive 2 over root 26. So I'd be looking for angles in A and C. Next step is to do inverse cos of 2 over root 26, which gives an answer of 66.9 degrees. That will be the angle in A, but to get the angle in C, I will need to take 66.9 degrees away from 360. This gives two angles, 66.9 degrees and 293.1 degrees. However, we were asked to find x, so x take away 11.3, so we need to move the 11.3 over and add to give x as 66.9 degrees plus 11.3 degrees and 293.1 degrees plus 11.3. Final answer for x is 78.2 degrees and 304.4 degrees. Example 2. Solve 2 cos 2x plus 3 sin 2x equals 1, where x lies between 0 and 2 pi. So again, here we've got um, two waves added together, so we'll need to put into wave function form. And then we need to also then equate it to 1 before we can solve for x. So we're always starting here with the wave function. 
again we're going to use k cos of 2x minus a so we've got a multiple angle as well here to look out for so the expansion gives k cos 2x cos a plus k sin x sin a again we need to rearrange this to put k cos a together and k sin a together and after that we will write 2 cos 2x plus 3 sin 2x underneath in order to equate our coefficients. So k cos a is going to be the number 2 and k sin a is going to be the number 3. So we'll clearly state these values. After we've done this, we are going to then we could find the value of k. So k is equal to 2 squared plus 3 squared, then take the square root, which will be 4 plus 9, which gives root 13. Once we've got k, the other thing we need to find is the value for a, and remember this has to be in radians. So we draw our cast diagram, and again, cos a is equal to a positive value, so we're going to tick a and c. Sin a is also positive, so we'll tick s and a. So here we're looking for an angle in our first quadrant. Now writing out our rule to find our angle, tan a is equal to k sin a over k cos a. Tan a equals 3 over 2. Now, this will not be an exact value, so you must ensure at this point that you have changed your calculator into radians. Once your calculator is in radians, you'll do inverse tan of 3 over 2, which gives you an answer of 0 0.98. Therefore, we can clearly state that 2 cos 2x plus 3 sin 2x equals root 13 cos of 2x minus 0 0.98, and that's it in wave function form. So that's us done half of the question. Now that we've got it in wave function form, we need to basically equate that to the number 1. And we're going to then solve for x. Remembering again, we're still working in radians. First thing we need to do is rearrange. So I'm going to take my root 13 over and divide to get cos 2x minus 0 0.98 equal to 1 over root 13. Again, I need to make sure I draw my cast diagram to ensure I'm looking for angles in the correct quadrants. And here, cos is equal to a positive value, so I'm looking for angles in A and C. And again, your calculator will still be in radians, so if we do inverse cos of 1 over root 13, we'll get an answer of 1.29. So this 1.29 is the angle in A, so 2x minus 0 0.98 is equal to 1.29. But to obtain the angle in the fourth quadrant, we need to do 2 pi take away 1.29. This will give an angle of 4.99. And the last step we need to do, or the last couple of steps, is I'm going to have to move my negative 0 0.98 over and add. And once I add that on, that will give me my first two angles. However, please remember, if we have a 2x, that's not two angles that we're looking for, but four. Now, you may be wondering where the 8.55 and the 12.25 came from. Well, we take our first angle of 2.27, which was obtained by adding 1.29 and 0.98. And we add a whole wave to that, which would be adding 2 pi using a calculator. And then our angle of 5.97, that was found by adding 4.99 and 0 0.98. Again, we add 2 pi to this, and that gives our fourth angle of 12.25. The final step is we will need to divide all of them by 2. And x is equal to 1.14, 2.99, 4.28, to two decimal places. 
Now try this example on your own. Please pause the video. And the answer, x is equal to 5 pi over 12 or 23 pi over 12. If you would like some extra practice from your textbook, please turn to page 318, exercise 16H. Today we've looked at solving equations by using our wave function. To do that, we would follow these steps. We would make sure we put two trig functions added together into wave function form. We need to make sure we check if our answer should be in radians or degrees. We would then create an equation to solve. We would solve that trig equation and we would also double check that our answer lies within the stated range we were asked for.